At Option Genius, we believe that you deserve freedom, financial freedom, so that you have no more worries and more than enough money. Time freedom, so that you could do what you want, when you want to do it. And choice freedom, to live your life on your terms. But the system and Wall Street are rigged against those little guys. So how do we fight back? Well, my friend, that's what this podcast is all about. My name is Alan Sama, and this is the Option Genius Podcast. Hey, 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 Genius Nation. How's it going today? Coming to you today from the home office. Didn't feel like going to work today and, uh, you know, felt like relaxing. Trades are doing well. Everything's going well. And so I'm here just relaxing today. Um, but I did have this really, really exciting thought. So I thought that, you know what? I need to record this. I need to get this down before I forget. And so here I am. And what happened was really that I've, the last couple coaching calls that I've had with clients, they both of the fellows said uh, something very similar. And they both had a similar issue, which was that they are having a hard time adjusting. It's not that they don't know what adjustments to make or they don't have a trading plan that we gave them, but they are not sticking to the rules. And so they are not doing it properly and they're not trading properly. And so they're having losses that they really shouldn't have. And they know that and they know it's the, the, their fault. But for some reason, whatever, you know, they had their own little reasons. Oh, you know, I lost track or I didn't have my records or whatever not. They felt that their issue was that they could not stick to their adjustments. And really it breaks down, you know, it boils down to discipline. So. If you don't have the discipline, you won't stick to the rules, right? You'll just try to do it, fly by your seat of the pants. It might work, it might not work, but that's not the way that you want to be doing it. Now, discipline is like a muscle. It's like a habit, you know? I mean, the more you do it, the stronger it gets, the more ingrained it becomes in you, and the better off you are, really, in life. But, you know, I understand where these guys are coming from, because discipline not one of my strongest points, you know. I would rather take the easy way out if I could in most cases. But there are certain things that you can't do that. There are certain things that you really have to focus on. And so when it comes to trading, you know, it comes down to how serious are you and how important it is to you. So, for example, you know, both of these guys, they had a similar situation where no real urgency in terms of, hey, I need to do a great job in my trading because that's what I do for a living or, you know, I need this money to survive or, or to pay off bills or whatever. Um, so they're basically dabbling, you know, they're not, it's not, they're not totally committed to it. And so that is, it's really negative in itself. And that's a telling sign that, hey, you're not taking this seriously. So, you know, if you can, you know, stop dabbling, you know, get serious, commit to this. And that will, you know, for some people, that'll that'll solve the problem. They'll just be like, yeah, you know what, I'm going to do it. But the long-term way to overcome this is to really know your why. Why are you trading? What is the end result? What is the goal? What are you trying to accomplish? Is it, hey, you know what, I'm not going to have enough money in retirement and I need that, right? You know, I need that money. Otherwise, I'm not going to survive or I'm going to be, um, you know, dependent on other people to live. And that's horrible. And uh, I never want that to happen. Is it I need to pay off my debt? Is it, you know, I need to pay for the kid's college or or whatever, whatever it is. I just need another thousand dollars a month to survive. Whatever that is, you need to know your why. And you need to keep that first and foremost in your brain. And if you can't, you know, put it up in a big sign or, or pictures or whatever in front of you or all over the place around your house or on your computer or on your bathroom so that you're constantly reminded, why are you trading? Why are you working hard? Why are you trying to get ahead? That will help you with the discipline problem. That will help you trade better. Now, I do understand that, you know, if your goal is, hey, I need more money for retirement, that might be 10 years, 20 years down the line. And so... Just human psychology tells us that we do not see ourselves as us 20 years from now. So me today, one person, 
when I think about me 20 years from now, oh, that's a totally different person. You know, I'm not worried about him. I'm more worried about me right now. And so if I can not put off something, not have to do it, then I'd rather do that than work hard and be disciplined so that the guy 20 years from now gets the benefit. I I want the benefit now, right? I want instant gratification now. And so by not paying attention to my trades or or watching TV or, or, you know, just forgetting about them one day when I should be paying attention to them on a regular basis is, in a sense, it's, it's laziness, but it's human psychology. And so I was thinking about that and I'm like, you know, that's the way it should be. But that we should be, you know, focused on it and, and have that why and be committed to it. But sometimes it's just not there, you know, especially if you're going from zero to 60, you know, from not trading at all, not being disciplined at all to be super disciplined, you can't do it. And so I've been working out with a trainer lately and basically, you know, he's starting me off at really, really low weights, you know, three pounds, five pounds. We're not going to like 20 pound dumbbells because I haven't worked out in 25 years. I can't handle it, <laughs> right? I could do maybe one or two reps, but that's not going to do anything. So he's starting me off small. And so that's where I got this idea. And it's something really fun and interesting. And I want you guys to, this is going to excite you. So this is one way that I think that in a fun way that you can overcome this discipline problem and start moving on the path to being more disciplined and having better off trades and sticking to the plans. So what I want you to do is not worry about your end game, not worry about retirement, paying off debt, whatever the issue is. What I would like you to do if you're having this issue of not being disciplined and not adjusting on time and not paying attention, what I want you to do is to pick a goal or a item or a product that you want to buy just for fun. And it might even be frivolous. You know, it might be something like, oh, there's this expensive watch that I want to buy or a piece of jewelry or, you know, for some people it might be a new car. I don't know, whatever it is, but something that is just for you, just for fun, something that you would probably not buy for yourself. And we're going to make that your short term goal. We're not going to worry about anything else. This is going to be your short term goal. And what I want you to do is set that goal for, let's say, three months, six months, maybe nine. You could do it for a year, but that's really, really pushing it. I don't want to go that far. Our goal here is to make you excited about something you want right away and to help you build that discipline muscle. Okay? So I think, you know, if I tell you, okay, you're going to retire 20 years from now and you have to be disciplined every single day on your trades, that's not going to excite you very much as to say that, you know what? We're booking a cruise six months from now, and the only way that you can go on this cruise is if you make that money from your trading, right? I think that would be a lot more exciting to a lot more people. And so, you know, a cruise, most cruises, you know, seven-day cruises, whatever, they're going to run you around a 1000 bucks or so per person. I think that's that's doable, or even if a little bit more, 1500 or whatever. But I think, you know, like a one-week vacation on a cruise or maybe like an all-inclusive resort in Mexico or whatever, airfare, all that stuff, I think it would be costing about a thousand, two thousand dollars $2,000 per person. And so if you were to say, you know what, it's me, my wife, my kids, or just me and my girlfriend or whatever it is, you know, this is how much money I need. I need, you know, a thousand, two thousand, three thousand dollars $3,000, whatever, to go on this trip. I think that is an amazing short-term goal for anybody that is trying to build up their discipline and who's trying to, you know, just get into that habit of checking on your trades and sticking to the trading plan over and over and over and over again. Now, you know, in the short term, yeah, you'll spend a little bit of money going on this trip or whatever you want to buy, but in the long term, it's going to help you because we're developing that muscle. We're developing that habit. And that's the important thing. You know, you're going to have a lot of fun, right? You're going to be excited about whatever this thing is. It's got to be something really fun, something you probably wouldn't do for yourself or or something that you thought, oh, man, that's a luxury. I wish I could do that. Well, let's make that our goal. You know, let's be a little childish. Let's Let's put our little responsibilities aside for a second. Because right now, if you're losing money on your trading because you're not paying attention, well, you're losing money anyway. So the thing, the goal here is you're going to pick something that you really want, 
maybe frivolous or maybe uh, fun or something you've always wanted that's kind of a luxury, you know, probably I would say $5,000 or so. So maybe a car, unless you're really, really rich already, maybe a car is out of, out of, uh, contention here, but a vacation or, you know, some kind of experience, maybe something that you're really looking forward to. A trip, going to see your grandkids, you know, going skiing, whatever. It doesn't matter. That would be your goal. That would be something that could excite you. And then you set a time frame, you know, so, okay, I need to do this within three months. I need to do this within six months, depending on how much it costs and depending on how much your trading account is, how much you think you can make every month. Six months, nine months, hopefully not a year. Don't go past a year because then it's, you're just going to, it's not going to excite you that much because it needs to be simple and it needs to be soon. The more sooner it is, the more excited you'll get. So if it's, let's say, six months from now, you look at your trading account and say, okay, you know what? I need X amount of dollars, let's say $4,000 for this. I need to make that. So I need to work, you know, the only way I can pay for this thing, this trip or activity or whatever it is, is by making money from my trades. That's the only way I can do it. And the only way that's going to work is if I pay attention. Right. If I focus every single day and if that's the case, if you're going on a cruise, I mean, you get, you know, cruise ship pictures and beach pictures and whatever. And you just post them, post them around the place so that you always have that top of mind. You always remember, hey, this is what I'm doing. This is what I'm doing. I'm going to have a lot of fun on this trip. And that will excite you to the point where, okay, I need to check every day and you check every day. I need to I need to focus on my trades. And so. When times comes for an adjustment, you're not going to be thinking, oh, well, you know, maybe I'll just put off the adjustment. Maybe it'll come back. So, no, I cannot afford to lose money because if I lose money, I'm going backwards away from my trip. This is too important. My trip is too important to me to not make this adjustment and not stick to my trading plan. I'm not going to wing it. I am going to do what I need to do to may- to be profitable, to be consistent so that I can go on this trip. Right? And that's all we're trying to do. So if you've had problems in the past with discipline, with, adjust, you know, not adjusting properly, sticking to your trading plan, I think this is a really fun way to do it so that you build that muscle automatically because it's something that really, really motivates you. And then if, let's say you're successful at this, you know, let's say you go for, for a few months, you're profitable again, you're making money consistently, and you're able to get close to that trip or, or, you know, maybe you have to put in a little bit of money to actually go on the trip. Okay, that's fine. But you did what you were supposed to do trading wise. That is my goal for you. I know your goal is to, you know, go on the trip or buy the thing. But my goal is for you is to actually become consistent, get that experience, build up that habit and have the confidence. Because if you can go through this exercise and you can focus on your trades, make adjustments, trade it properly for three months, six months, nine months at a time and accomplish your goal, well, then you can do anything. Then retirement or early retirement or whatnot is not that far away. Buying a new car, buying a new house is not that far away. Paying off your debt is not far away because you've already done it. You've already had that experience. And then it's just a matter of numbers, right? Having a goal, picking a time frame, and being committed, and being focused, and being disciplined. That's all it is. That's what trading is. That's the like the formula. If you were asking, hey, what's the secret to trading? Well, you got to know why you're doing it, right? You got to have a proper trading plan, and then you got to stick to it. And that's it. You got to have some kind of urgency that, yeah, I need to make this happen. And that is trading in a nutshell. Right. And so, I mean, I'm really excited. I I don't even, I haven't thought about what I want to do. That's going to be really cool. I don't know if I'm going to do the same exact thing because I'm not having that many issues as these other two guys that were having problems with adjusting. I do have issues from time to time. So I'm not going to say that everybody, I'm perfect or anybody's perfect. You will fall off the wagon. But the stronger your muscle is, the more consistent you will be properly trading and then the more consistent you will be in your results and that is what i want for everybody you know consistent profits or just you know even if you're breaking even but if you go month one 
making money, making money, 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 making money. Oh, you know, break even. Oh, I lost a little bit, couple percentage points. Okay, no problem. Making money, making money. Over time, all those gains add up. All that percentage adds up because the game that we're playing, when we're trading passively and when we're selling options, you know, we're not trying to make half a percent a month. You know, we're not trying to make 8% a year like the stock market. No, man, we are we are have the capability of doing 10%, 12%, 15% a month. So you don't need super, super high returns to do really, really well. You can do 3% a month. And for some of us, that's like, man, 3%, that's horrible. No, it's not. 3% every month is 36%. That's much better than any mutual fund. That's much better than most hedge funds, most professional money managers. So. The odds are already in your favor. The numbers and the math already works out. It's already in your favor. The only thing that's holding you back from the success that you want in your trading is you. And if discipline is the problem, then I think this exercise is a great way to start building that habit, to start building that muscle. And I'm really excited for this. And I'm, I hope that you would email me or let me know, send me a message, hit me up on Facebook or whatever, and let me know what is your goal and when are you going to do it by. So that those are the three things I want to know. I want to know what your goal is. Is it a cruise? Is it a trip? Are you buying something? How much is it going to cost? Okay. How much money do you need for that? And by when are you going to do it? If you can send me those three things, I will do my best to hold you accountable. Okay, so let's say you, you're you you're telling me that, you know, I want to go on a trip. It's going to cost me $3,000 and it's going to be six months from now. Well, three months from now, I'm going to try to send you an email and say, hey, three months are up. How are you doing? You know, I'm going to hold you accountable. Here you go. I'll do my best. I don't know how many of these responses we're going to get. So we might be overwhelmed, but I will try to set it up in my calendar and have this maybe done automatically. Where if you send me something, we'll send you an email in a certain amount of time saying, hey, you know, are you on the ball? Are you still doing it? And that'll be my way of helping you out. But I would love, even if you don't want that, I would love to know what you're going to do. You know, what is it? You know, cruises are my thing uh, or vacations, really, any kind of vacation, going on a trip, that's my thing. But if you want to buy something, that would be exciting. You know, so just let me know, you know, are you going to do a Mont Blanc pen? I did that one time. I love pens, so I bought myself a $1,000 pen from Mont Blanc. I know they have very m- even more expensive pens, but that's that's the one I like. That's the one I got, so it was really cool. You know, that was something that I cherish because it's like, you know, I worked hard for this. I bought it, and no regrets. I'm not going to regret spending money on this because I earned it, and I know that I did it once. Man, I could do it again, and I can do it again and again and again, and the numbers just get bigger. It's the same exact process to accomplish anything you want, but we start off on this small, small scale for something that really, really motivates you, really gets you excited, really gets you juiced because it's fun. You know, we're not being serious here. We're being frivolous. We're being playful. We're being like little kids again. So that's the thing. You know, right now for my daughter, like we're trying to potty train her. So we're like, Hey, do you want ice cream? Yes, I want ice cream. Okay. Well, then you better do poo poo in the potty. If you do poo poo in the potty, you get ice cream. And that's her goal. Doesn't always work every day, but we're trying to get there, right? So this is your thing, you know? Do you want ice cream? Okay, well, be disciplined. Do your focus on your trades and you'll get whatever it is that you want. So let me know, email me, let me know what your big exciting goal is and I'll do my best to help, all right? Take it easy. And remember, trade with the odds in your favor. All stocks are not created equal. We've analyzed thousands of optionable stocks to find the very best ones to trade options on. Lucky for you, you can just download the list for free. Get it at simonsaysoptions.com forward slash stocks. Again, that's simonsaysoptions.com forward slash stocks.